For the National Union of Disabled Persons of Uganda, NODEP, building a disability inclusive environment starts with changing the perception of disability in the society. Joseph Walugembe, a disability and development champion, says this must start with dropping the various labels that have been attached to people with disabilities. The use of the word normal automatically implies there is the opposite of normality, which is the abnormal, abnormality. And the point I'm making here is that we should not refer to people without disabilities as normal people because people with disabilities are not abnormal. We are all, we should emphasize the people, the person aspect first. That's why we use the terminology person with disabilities. In that statement, disability simply becomes part of the human diversity. While Gembe, who has difficulty in seeing ads that creating an environment that works for all people should be reflected in the various decisions made by the laden leaders across all sides of the aisle. You know, even with the best technology, there are impairments that may not be fixed, which leaves us with the option that we have to make the changes in society. For example, we have to make schools, we have to make workplaces, we have to make buildings accessible. And we do this by providing reasonable accommodations. We do this by making modifications and adaptations to facilities, to equipment. But we also do this with the underlying realization that it's a rights issue. It's not a favor for people with disabilities to have these modifications and opportunities to participate. It's a developmental issue. It's a human rights issue. In this era of the Sustainable Development Goals, we cannot afford to leave anyone behind, including people with disabilities. Journalists have been taken through a series of training on disability, inclusive media reporting. Lydia Cobb Singe, the program's officer, Nodup says, such media engagements organize to champion disability-responsive reporting. That it is very important to have these media also know about persons with disabilities. What are their rights? Who are they? What are the different categories? When we are talking, when we are reporting about persons with disabilities, how do we, we talk, talk about them respectfully? How do we focus more on who they are as a person as opposed to their dis disability or what assistive device, say for example, a wheelchair or a white cane that they are using? So that we are able to portray them in a positive light, but also able to show how they are benefiting from government programs and services. According to the recent Uganda Population and Housing Census, 16% of the population are persons with disabilities and statistics further indicate that the prevalence of disability has been gradually increasing and the increase is high among older persons as compared to children. Stephen Mayombwe for Speak Uganda Record TV, Kampala.